Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C-Sharp. This is episode 17 and it's called Exam Grades. So in this challenge, we're going to write a program that asks the user to enter a mark between the range of 0 to 100 and then we'll output the corresponding exam grade like the following table. So for example, if the user enters in 35, that would be a grade U. If the user enters in 75, that would be a grade B. For this video, I want you to be using a select case statement um, instead of like an if statement or another way of doing it. Challenge yourself, do it. If you want to attempt this challenge yourself, then uh, hit that pause button now and we'll get started shortly. All right, so let's begin. So as always, we'll start off by asking the user to um, input something. Um, this time we'll say something like enter the amount of marks you received. Um, and I'm just going to put in brackets from 0 to 100. Okay, so that will output that on the console. And then we'll create a variable called marks of type integer. And we will convert it into an int32. So convert to int32. Um, the console.readline. So once again, console.readline will read the input from the user and this converter to in32 method will change the string that's being read in from the user into an integer and stored into this variable. Cool. So now we've got our marks variable to do with what we like. So we'll create our switch statement and we'll switch on marks. Cool. And... For each case, in C Sharp, we have to use the syntax like this, where we say int n when n is greater than um, our mark. Uh, sorry, greater than mark. So we'll start off with um, 80 as it's the highest. So we'll say for this one, console right line grade a so one thing i will mention here is that's actually not going to work if we leave it like this because um greater than will mean that uh, it's from 81 on, on and onwards so we want it to be uh, from 80 so the operator we want to use here is greater or equal to 80 and that's how we write that and then we need to put our break statement and that will sort us out. Um, just a quick note, um, I'm sure nobody is actually using uh, a version of C-sharp that's older than um, seven, but if you can't do this syntax and it's giving you a squiggly when you're writing it exactly like this, it's probably because you're on an older version of C-sharp and you should update it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and write this out for the rest of the grades. For the last one, I'm going to change this to a less than 40. So if it's less than 40, we're going to be a grade U. Cool. So there we have it. Um, if they if the user enters anything less than 40, it will be a grade U. Um, if it's equal to 40 and above, it will be E, um, unless it's 50 and above then it'll be grade d unless it's 60 and above then it'll be grade c unless it's 70 and above grade b unless 80 and above grade a um just for best practice i know this isn't needed for your solution to be correct um but just for best practice we want to put some, a little bit of validation in here because our question or our program is expecting the user to enter in a number between zero and a hundred um i'm just going to put in another one which will say if the number is greater than a hundred then we'll say um invalid input something like that 
So with other programming languages, um, the reason I kind of talk about other programming languages, even though this is C sharp, um, most of these concepts are transferable between programming languages. Uh, and that's why it's so important to get these basic uh, concepts down because once you've learned them with one language, you can transfer them to any other language or most other languages. And um, all you need to pick up is syntax. So for example, like in VB.net or C sharp, uh, not C sharp or TypeScript, you might be able to do something like this where marks is uh, greater than 100 and that would be fine. But C sharp doesn't allow you to do that. So this is the syntax that we need to use. You could also do when marks uh, is greater than 100. Um, and I've seen a lot of people do this as well because uh, this is just the syntax that you end up trying to use in C sharp to make this operation work. Uh, however, I, I see it kind of like misleading and kind of unnecessary because then why are you declaring this? Um, essentially, all you're trying to say is case declare a variable that I'm using the number that I'm using and then when it's allowing you to give a condition on that in on that variable so we'll actually use it and say when n is greater than 100 cool so um what we're also going to do just so that we can run through all of this is do a while loop um I'm sure you if you've been following the series, you'd see me have done this multiple times, um, but this is just so that it allows me to run through the um, program endlessly without having to kind of like uh, run and then run it again and run it again, and run it again. Now, if I run it like this within this while loop, it will just con constantly rerun the program every time it ends. So let's go through and try out some num some mocks. Cool. Enter the amount of marks you have received from 0 to 100. Let's say I received 150 marks in valid input. So that's what we expected. Let's say I, uh, let's just go through all of the different ones. So 90, that's a grade A. 80 is still a grade A because remember we said greater or equal to 80. Um, let's do 75, that's a grade B. 65 grade C, 55 D um don't know why I'm for 44 but that's an e and then if i go for something less than 40 let's say 39 grade u but however if i enter 40 that's still a grade e um and there you go i hope you guys managed to do this one especially if you've been doing some of the other switch statement challenges um i'm hoping you should fi be finding it a little bit easier now to follow along um however let me know how you got on in the comment section below um if there's anything i can do to help um if there's anything you don't understand just pop a question down and i'll be happy to answer it yeah so make sure you like and subscribe and comment um just support me and and encourage me to keep this going um i really want to get to finish all of these 100 coding challenges um and yeah we can do it together so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one.